Hi guys, welcome back to Ethereal Orb. I'm going to do a swirl today in purple. My husband said tonight, boy, you use a lot of blue. And I said, well, not tonight. I'm going to paint purple. And he said, yeah, you kind of use a lot of purple too. So, <laughs> so maybe after tonight I will um, go out of my comfort zone a little bit with, with colors. But I like purple and blue. So anyway, this is my color palette tonight. I have um, medium violet. I have medium violet mixed with a little Payne's gray for a darker shade. Um, I have cadmium yellow light mixed with some titanium white, or cadmium yellow light mixed with titanium white. Okay, that was harder to say than it should have been. And the only one that's not a Nova color tonight, I have some Waverly um, in rhubarb. And that's all I have. I do have a little um, phthalo blue on standby, but I really think I want to keep it at the purples. I don't think I want to add the blue. Um, and like I said, I'm going to do a swirl. I painted my canvas um, purple so that, you know, because if it didn't quite go all over all the edges, I wanted it covered. I probably didn't need to worry about the middle at all. And don't worry about these white spots. I got a brush. I didn't even bother to clean it. And um, the very first time I used it, it lost a ton of um, hair. So it's, it was all over. I had to peel them all out. It left, I was just so mad. I just I walked away from everything. So I was just really upset because that was a new brush. Um, so anyway, let's get started. Do, 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 do. I need a cup for my swirl. That has. Okay, right, there we go. So all that's on the outside. I want the purple on the edge and the white and the yellow inside, so I need to start with my white and yellow. I wonder if I want a shorter cup. I don't. I need more paint, I think, than one of these will hold. But I'm sure, I really want a small. You have one of these doohickeys. Let's use one of these doohickeys. It's a mess from paint, but that's okay. It's all dry. Okay, so I'm going to start, I think I want yellow in the very center. Start with some yellow. Probably should be putting this closer to that edge. Let's do some white. Some more yellow. Look. There's a hair stuck to the dried paint that's in there. Okay, I'm going to assume that's going to stay there. Maybe not. That's lovely. Okay. My hair falls out like crazy. More yellow. A little more white before I add the purple. I don't want to get mud. might get a little bit. And the yellow and the purple might get a little muddy, but a little bit I'm willing to live with. Okay, so let's do the dark purple, which is sinking. This may not come out quite in the order I want, but I'm going to try. Okay, so now the light purple. I'm going to go back and forth between the light purple and the... Um, I hope I don't get mud from that. And the orange rhubarb. I usually keep my paint really thick to avoid mud, but um, I have it a little thinner for the swirl. So we'll see what we get. This is just paint mixed with um, matte fluid medium and water. Um, there's no silicone in it or anything. Really, I'm liking that matte fluid medium for my pouring medium. It's working out really well. Let's do a little more purple. I don't want the orange to really take over. I just want it to kind of offset the purple. So let's put in quite a bit of purple. A little more orange. More purple. Dark purple. Let's 
the rest of it there. swirl in a while so what I'm gonna do before I pour because I'm not gonna put a bunch of paint down on the canvas first but I am going to put some of this down just to kind of help the paint flow just enough to kind of wet the canvas basically so that um, I've not done this before I was thinking about it the other night I was thinking you know having this instead of, you know, a lot of times flood the um, canvas with, with paint, and sometimes the paint isn't really what's necessary. Sometimes it is, doing negative space or whatever, but sometimes you just want that slick surface so the paint will flow off the edges nice and smoothly. So that's the purpose of this. And there's binders because it's a medium, so I don't have to worry about it, you know affecting the stability of my paint. I probably didn't need this much. I don't really need it puddling up. You know what, let's just take some of this extra and put it in this cup. There's a little extra medium in my mixing cup. It's not a big deal. Okay. There we go. Okay, so let's see if that helps it kind of move around. Move my mixing cups here out of the way. My brush out of the way and my paint out of the way and let's do a swirl. I think I want to hold it by the handle for this. Okay. Let's do it a little slower. I like that little bit of peach in with the purple. A really pretty combination. I think so, anyway. There's our white. Okay. Just a little bit of the white and yellow in the middle. Look at that. Pretty, pretty. Okay. Time to tilt. Hopefully this fluid medium will... Oh yeah. That does make a difference. It's really... It's really just going. This way. Yeah. Oh, I, I think that will be my go-to because it's really going over those corners where it's sometimes, you know, you try and get it right to that corner and it just doesn't want to go. And then you've got a corner that's not covered, and yeah. Oh, this is pretty. Really, really pretty. A little more purple and or yellow and white once I stretched it out, isn't there? Let's go back this way a little bit. Oh, I really like that. Okay. Should I torch? Does have any silicone, so I don't know what torching would do anything anyway. Gosh, that's really pretty though. I like that one. I don't think it needs anything. The thing about swirls, they are quick. I am tempted to torch though, but I don't know that I want a whole bunch of little lights. I don't know if I'd get anything. Let's do just a tiny little area. Where's my torch? I have Easter eggs in here hiding from my kids. So I moved some things around to make room. I buried my torch. I didn't bury it, but I hid it along with the bags that were hidden.
a little bit of, so I didn't think it would do much, brought up a little bit of white. That's really cool. I really, really like that. Okay, I'll give you some close-ups here. Yeah. One thing about swirls, they are quick. They don't take much fiddling to be really pretty. Oh, look at that. I have to take a close-up of that little area. It almost looks metallic, doesn't it? So, so pretty. This is one of my favorite ones I've done in quite a while. Ooh, look at that. Oh, that's pretty. Just what I was telling myself. No purple for a while. <gasps> Step away from the purple, step away from the blue. Sometimes really neat stuff happens when I go out of my color comfort zone, so. Okay, let me know what you guys think. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see what other videos I have coming up. We will see you next time, guys. Happy pouring.